Anybody up for me firing up this old motorhome chassis and driving it around the block? <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, I'll open the old can of worms now. There's a ton of garbage here. That's <laughs> trying to decipher some of this engine harness. I really want to try to fire this thing up today and have a little fun with it. See if my $400 investment pays off or not. I did cut some of the wires by accident when I tore this thing apart. I got to fix a couple things and I did find some evidence of rats in there. I try to patch together and fix that as well. I'd like to just throw a seat on this thing and drive it around the block. I think it'd be fun. I got the fuse panel uh, harness there. I got that separated and then I've got, here's my mess of all the other wiring. A lot of the coach stuff, this is all for the lights, headlight harness, all that type of stuff. So whatever, it's just, there's a ton of garbage here that I don't need. So now I'm basically just down to the engine harness. Now, if you're wondering what the heck I'm working on, this is my new chassis for my 1955 Chevy COE that I'm working on. So just a quick summary, if you haven't seen this truck before, this is my 1955 COE and this is a very early model 55. I got this thing out of Peoria, Illinois from my wife's family. It used to belong to the old uh, RG Mackamer Lumber Company out of, out of Hannah City, Illinois is where it came from originally. This was a complete motorhome, a class A motorhome, a 30 footer. And in my previous video, I'll link that up above. You can check that out. And basically I just gutted the whole body and everything off of it. It's got a 454. It's got a 4L80 overdrive transmission. It's got a big 14 bolt uh, four wheel disc brakes. Okay guys, here's where we're at. I think I've got it yeah you know basically kind of figured out here so i've got everything hooked back up got the computer plugged in uh, as you can see it's got 30,974 miles on it seems to be pretty accurate but i guess we'll find out all right i figure you guys can just watch the gauges here um put power to it sorry this jump box probably gonna beep it's kind of annoying so basically all i'm doing is this is the ignition switch that bolts to the column so i'm just using this thing essentially okay i got power i heard the fuel pump relay go so let's see if it bumps over cranked but it's really weak all right i ran a thicker cable to the ground no usually that jump box will do it but it probably doesn't have enough cold cranking amps all right i got my truck battery on here power's on so let's see what happens here oh there we go all right well okay we know that works the gas is rank Give this a little huff here. Oh yeah, oh, perfect. It's a big block, it needs it. I don't hear any knocking. Okay, I got a big fuel leak back there. I gotta fix that real quick. They had that teed off that went to the generator, so I gotta fix that. It's actually kind of scary that they did this. All it is is just a cheap plastic vacuum fitting. If this thing broke or having to access this thing, boy, what a nightmare. Ugh, it stinks so bad. I feel like I'm at work. I fixed the fuel line. I dumped about seven gallons of fuel in it. Let's try it again. There we go. Oil pressure gauge took a little bit to come up. It's got oil pressure. Looks good. What, 75, almost 80 pounds. It's actually charging. Uh-oh, service engine soon lights on. That's not good. I could definitely hear the valve train when I fired it pretty good there. I'm sure the injectors and everything are really, really dirty in this thing. Make sure my harness doesn't hit the air conditioner there. Now the 
motor sounds good. No knocking. She's definitely blowing all kinds of crap out. Ooh, it stinks too. Fuel pumps, fuel pumping. Boy, throttle sensitive. You definitely gotta feather it a little bit. It's definitely, the throttle response isn't there. I might have to clean those injectors and everything. I'll go get a jug of water, but she runs, man, my $400 investment. <laughs> 400 bucks. Oh man, I'm so happy. All right guys, it's been a little bit and I had a few things I had to deal with here. I found a few more problems uh, that I think I got to figure it out. All right, so I was sitting there running this thing and the right fuel injector, or I guess the driver's side left one, just basically hung wide open and started filling the motor up full of fuel. If I unplugged it, it stopped and I don't know why. Pulled the top of it off, cleaned the injector out, tried to blow the whole area out, tested it and it was clicking and everything was working. So I wasn't sure what was going on and it was still doing it. So I figured it was something either with the injector or it was getting power or something. So I checked the wiring harness and looked some stuff up online and which one is which. And I basically just kind of traced all that stuff and checked everything out. And then that blue wire that goes to that injector was over here. This plug wasn't completely seated all the way. So I snapped it back in and that seems to have fixed my problem. All right, so now... So now she fires up and it seems to be idle and okay. It's just slightly rough. I know this thing's got some bad fuel in it. I need to put a new sock on the fuel pump as well, but I did knock the cat off of this thing and that helped too. Now it's not blowing all that garbage everywhere. Definitely seems to run better without that on there. Now the throttle response is correct as well. <laughs> So it's not bogging either when I hit the throttle like I was before. I was having to kind of feather it and be real careful with it. Just that plug on the ECM just wasn't in all the way and I think that fixed it. All right, I'm pretty excited about this thing now. I'm just gonna try to tidy some of this up and get it organized a little bit. And then I gotta figure out the seat next. All right, so I got one of the original seat bases here, the swivels, and then uh, an old racing seat out of one of our Mavericks. Safety squints. Sure, why not? That ain't going nowhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mint. And I even got a seatbelt. Look at that. Safety first. All right, cool. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> All right, I can't lean on it like that. Dumb ways to die. Right. Of course, it's like 110 out and I'm doing this stuff. Ugh. So if you ever wondered how your seat bases are bolted to your motorhome floors, cheap base through plywood and through just drilled straight through square tubing and there's nothing backing it up. There's, there's no uh, sleeves inside the square tubing. It just crushes as they tighten it. So yeah, that's pretty much how your seat's mounted. Oh yeah, that's not even sketchy. Whop, whop. All right, let's go for a drive. All right guys, let's see what happens here. Oh, that seat is freaking burning hot. It's like 110 out right now. All right, here we go, $400 motorhome. Our steering works. <laughs> it's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. Mint. Shit, the brakes were great.
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh, the tires are square. <laughs> They're garbage. Speedo works. <laughs> I don't see a problem. <laughs> oh, forgot to put my seatbelt on. Ah. Ooh, brakes work good. Oh, the tires are they're so bad. See if it'll do a burnout. <laughs> oh yeah, she does. Successful maiden voyage to Jeffrey's house. Good. Good block. A whole lot of stock. Can't beat it for 400 bucks. Goes right into gear. Alright. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Oh, that's too fun. <laughs> I want to look at people's faces. Oh, that's awesome. It's priceless. Transmission shifts great. Works perfectly. I would say that's a successful test drive. I mean, the tires are garbage, but... Yeah. Motor sounds fantastic. Motor runs great. Shifts great. Transmission feels great. I thought I heard it starting up. What the... <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah. Had to take it for a test drive. <laughs> it's easier to move I, this way. I, I thought maybe you broke down, because I'm thinking, okay, I'll be back in a minute. No, I went over to Jeff's house. My buddy's house. I figured. I said, he went over to his buddy's house. <laughs> for 400 bucks, I'm happy. Yeah. I would definitely say it's got 30,000 on it, so it's, it's it's tight, so I wish it had a plate on it. I'd really drive it around. Drive it to work. <laughs> well, now I know I now I feel better. I know when it's good, you know. Well, there you
there you go guys i am so happy man that, oh that puts a smile on my face that was so much fun that old cab over is gonna be awesome i cannot wait well thanks guys thanks for following along with me on this one uh short video but a fun one and definitely a uh a boost in the motivation for sure i don't know what i'm gonna do yet if i'm gonna use this stock wiring harness and all this stuff how fuel injection actually sells a complete standalone kit for this engine and transmission i might buy one uh just to simplify things a little bit i think it'll be a little easier but instead of trying to mess with this thing and thin it out i can I, i'll think about it i don't know it's 500 bucks I didn't pay that much for the motorhome. I got the generator sold for 400 bucks, so I've got my money back, basically. And keep in mind as well, this engine is not going to stay here. It is going to be moved back. Fuel tank I'll have to figure out as well. I'm not keeping that thing. It's too big. And then honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do wheelbase-wise with this thing and what I'm going to do. If I'm just going to make it a big pickup truck like I was talking about, or I was actually thinking about doing some kind of a flatbed on it with maybe some wood slat sides on it, kind of to pay homage to Macamer Lumber Company. Do something like that so what do you guys think which guys route do you think i should just do a big pickup truck or should i do a flatbed kind of pay homage to the heritage of the truck is kind of what i'm thinking right now i'll tell you more about the history of this thing as well in the next video uh, i did find out some really good information about this truck and the company and kind of the history of everything in illinois so it's pretty neat so the next one i'm gonna have to get the body off of that frame and then i'm gonna have to pull this engine transmission radiator everything off of this frame to set the body on it because again this engine's going back it's hot i'm gonna go in the pool and relax for a little bit and uh enjoy the rest of my day but thanks for watching guys i'll see you on the next one yep it's the best i can do i don't drink sorry yeah.